This person said, how do I get rid of my masturbation addiction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <clears throat> again, that's a, that's a brave, you know, question to be asking, uh, to, to put that out there. And what I want to say, uh, to that person, um, is, is there can be, um, shame, you know, in addictive behaviors, but, but in some cases, I think there's a whole other level of shame when the, uh, addictive behaviors are sexual in nature. And so, so appreciate them, you know, being willing uh, to ask that. And, you know, what I would, what I would share with them is uh, we need to kind of undo some of the aloneness probably that they feel in that situation. Um, being a part of um, a sexual addictions group <clears throat> would be an important part of that. To be in a group of people, um, preferably, you know, same-sex people um, that, that can get it, that can go, hey, we are working through being powerless in this too. We're working through facing this too. Because one of, one of the struggles with especially sexual addiction is the aloneness. And aloneness brings about lots of shame. It brings about a lot of isolation. And isolation is painful. For people, it's not neutral. A lot of times people think that, that just being alone is sad, but not that bad. And I say, no, it's, it's extremely painful. That's, that injures us when we feel so alone. And so undoing uh, that aloneness by having a group like that is really, really important uh, because you're not going to have the strength to change any of that uh, as you're alone, and, you know, as you're by yourself. And the second thing that I would want you know, to recommend with that is working with a competent sexual addictions counselor. Um, because, you know, masturbation is something that, you know, regardless of, you know, people's views on it, um, is something that majority, you know, people have done at some point in their life. And so what we're dealing with is a behavior that, that may be present or has been present in somebody's life, but has now turned into something that is compulsive. And usually when that's happening, we really are talking uh, with somebody who has some trauma or some significant pain in relationships as they grew up. And so it's important to have you know, a counselor that you're working with uh, to address that. Mm -hmm.